Okay, so we're gonna make a slat now. Let's pretend that we've got a space marked out. This is the slat we wanna make, okay? We want eventually to have a slat right there. What I would do is I would have that on there. I would take my edging material and go flush up against the slat on either side so it's surrounded by my edging. Then I would put the guides outside the edging, okay, like so. I would clamp the guides, like so, okay? So you see, you clamp that piece in that corner, you'd clamp this piece here, the same thing, so you'd have a clamp there, a clamp there, a clamp there, and a clamp there. So now I have my clamps in place, and my slat is going right here. So this piece can come out, okay? And these are now my molds, which I can move all the way across the A-frame as I need to, right along side the guides. Okay, and the slat would be made by molding the material, the rubber and binder mix, and basically pressing it down in between these two molding boards that run alongside the guides. You might ask, well why don't I just clamp the molding strips and then I don't need guides? And that might work fine on a dog walk that's only 12 inches wide. However, once you get to an A-frame width of over three feet and you try to run your little molding strip across the entire piece and you put clamp pressure on each end, what you end up with is an elevation in the middle, a gap, and as you see, that gap between the board and your molding piece would result in spillage when you tried to press and shape and mold all your rubber and binder mix, it would escape in that space. Whereas with this setup, where you have guiding boards and then your molding strips, you can put pressure on your molding strips as you pack in the material near it, eliminating the potential for any gap. It helps to have your slat positioned so that you can use a flat piece to tamp down on the material as you fill in between your molding pieces. So as you fill in here, this presses down and squeezes in just between the two boards. Also, it helps to have a piece that fits between your clamps so that you can mold the edging when you get to the edges.